In other top stories, surveillance video obtained by KSAT 12 shows the violent end to an overnight high-speed chase that began in Castle Hills. We've also learned the names of the three suspects involved in the crash, and those three facing a variety of charges, including illegal drugs and illegal weapon possession. KSAT 12's Josh Skernick reports it did not take long to find that evidence. While reaching speeds of more than 90 miles per hour, a turn taken too fast put a stop to the pickup truck and three people in the hands of Castle Hills Police. The driver, 47-year-old Lee Villarreal, faces charges of evading arrest and reckless driving. His back passenger, 31-year-old Sirena Marie Rosario, had an outstanding DWI warrant. But the other man up front, 35-year-old John Timothy Loera, not only had a warrant, but came away with new charges of felony possession of a firearm, tampering with evidence, and drug possession, all stemming from not using a turn signal. Some of these things that seem seemingly innocuous ultimately end up being pretty profound and, and egregious by nature. Around 11 last night, a sergeant patrolling Loop 410 said he saw the pickup change lanes without a blinker. The sergeant flashing his lights, the truck drove in the shoulder, exited onto West Avenue, and blew through a light. The driver then turned onto Clower. Getting everyone out, the sergeant says he found meth inside the cab, plus bullets. And that led them to, to uh, prompted them to ask questions. Subsequent search of the area revealed a pistol um, about 20 feet north of the crash site. An incident report shows Loera eventually admitted the drugs and gun were his. You'll notice the stop sign the driver hit is now gone, but the workers at the auto shop have already tried pushing the base of the other pole back in place and say they're going to weld this back together as well. Plenty of work as the three suspects go through the legal system. Reporting from the north side, Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News.